ask wow. why the good die young, but the truth is none of y'all are good, not one. Not the one. only one. Ooh, that's a good point. All right, I've also heard people said, why does why do bad things happen to good people? Well, there are no good people. <laughs> Why do bad things happen to all people? Should be the question, or to all bad people. Hello friends, welcome to Look and Live. You are now here with Pastor James Devalon and this is another reaction video. Who do we have the pleasure of uh, reacting to today? It is an artist that has been requested over and over again by you guys his name is basil 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 okay so this is devil's work uh, i have never heard the song uh but it was highly requested so guess what we're gonna do we are going to react to basil devil's work for the first time today in look and live please stay tuned Okay, friends, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe to the YouTube page. Click the bell icon to be notified for my upcoming videos. Friends, I am hoping you are growing and learning and you're enjoying these reactions. And by the way, we do have a sign up sheet posted in the description of this video for those of you who are interested in Bible study. We are registering for the class as we speak, and in April, we are starting the class. So, once again, I want to get to the heart of this message. I want to hear what Mr. Bizzle has to say. First time I'm hearing this, first time I'm reacting to this. So let's pop this in. All right, friends, it is now time. Let's get to the heart of the message. Joiner, I hear you going through some things and it's getting tough, but. I see you got my word with you, it's a shame how the pain Only thing make you pick it up uh. And you complain when it rains just once But I never hear thanks for that hundred days with the sun Could've ran to me first, ran to the drink first And now I gotta have this conversation with you when you drunk See? Alright, sounds like it's having a conversation with a person here About some struggles that the individual had shared Either he heard it from someone else So he's kind of like addressing someone about some things he has heard about him Okay me first ran to the drink first and now i gotta have this conversation with you when you drunk see before i even start addressing it i don't owe you any answers so don't get used to it but i feel like you being genuine but the truth is you can't handle the truth lucas you but you kept it a buck and i love that if i kept it a buck back could you take what you stepping in huh? i know it's other folks so it sounds like he's prepping him for some stuff that he is about to share with him about the truth and he's prepping him Letting him know ahead of time, <laughs> kind of like where he is going with this. So let's keep listening. Buck, and I love that. If I kept it a buck back, could you take what you stepping in? Huh? I know it's other folk to feel like you. So, first thing I'm gonna do is let you know who you questioning. Yeah. I am the God who created the earth. I knew you start oh. feeling yourself, so I made you from dirt. Hey. Oh, okay. This is deep. Okay, so now he is somewhat. Um, interpersonalize the I don't know would you say the attributes of God in a way he is having this conversation with this individual who is going through some things so I want to hear that again I love the I love the storytelling a lot yeah. I am the God who created the earth I knew you start feeling yourself So I made you from dirt yeah. Ain't no battery in your body So who making it work? I made the earth perfect It's y'all making it worse Who put uh. the seed in the fruit Put the fruit in the tree And that tree in another little seed But me Oh man <laughs> Yeah man So these are really good questions And we know um, Even the scientific world Struggle answering some of these questions Right? kind of in the context of creation how god sustains the world by protecting and putting this putting the seed in the fruit and oh man all that i mean let me digest a little bit more of that substance who put the seed in the fruit put the fruit in the tree and that tree in another little seed but me then turn around and made you the same way after that but you was in your daddy sack and his dad daddy sack Ooh, so deep so deep wow Love it. Let me enjoy that. I don't want to say too much. Around and made you the same way after that, but you was in your daddy sack and his dad daddy sack. Ugh. I am the one that put breath in your lungs and created the same mind that you question me from. Mm -hmm. You were lost. I'm the way. I'm the potter. You the clay, and now the clay got something to say. Okay. 
Oh, <laughs> this is so scriptural. By the way, that's come, that that is found in Isaiah in Jeremiah, where God says, "I am the Potter; you are the clay; you are the work of my hands." And He says that the clay shouldn't really tell the Potter, "What are you creating, man? What are you making?" And I love the now I can see on. I guess this is the album cover here. There is a Potter, a broken Potter, right? A broken clay. Uh, supposedly needing to be, I don't know, fixed. So there's a lot of there's a lot of symbolism in, in the heart of this artist here. But he's also very scriptural based as well. I like that because for those of you who know their Bible, you know exactly where this man is coming from here. It's kind of like talking to, you know, in essence, this is God's talking to one of his creation. He's talking to us. He's talking to this person and he's helping him to realize that he is their god uh and he's giving he's spinning different pictures and giving different reasons why god is his god very powerful very intelligent very scriptural very spiritual as well i like that from. You were lost, I'm the way, I'm the potter, you the clay, and now the clay got something to say Okay, you can never check me, so check this, your standard for right and wrong is me I am the checklist, I am right, wrong is whatever you're left with I am life, you without me is what death is Ooh, wrong is whatever you are left with, I am right Without me is a death wish Whoa it is so true, right? When we speak about the idea of God and men separation from God, there are several reasons for it. First, first of all, we we were born with a sinful nature, the very virus of sin. We inherited that from Adam and Eve. And we also uh, do something that is also known as cultivated tendencies. Uh, this concept of cultivated tendencies leads men to what is known in theology as total depravity, right? This idea of cultivated tendencies are the very uh, sinful behaviors that we give life to by making decision to sin, by making decision to debase um, the moral concept that God has given us. So every time we break the law of God, we are cultivating the very inherited and tendencies of our fallen nature. I hope I'm not <clears throat> getting into some deep theological concept, but the whole idea is that we need to realize that there is a problem with us and God alone is the one who can solve it and i think what this artist is saying in a song from what i'm hearing thus far devil's work he's having a face-to-face -face conversation with this individual from the context of him imposing as god and he's trying to get this man to realize his need right for god is first helping him to realize his condition um and also he's showing how great of a god his creator is there's so much that could be said to this. I can pull so many different points. And I can I can preach all day on this. Very beautiful. I am right. Wrong is whatever you left with. I am life. You without me is with death. Is. Okay, this is the point I wanted to say. I am right without me is a death wish. Wrong is whatever you left with. So right, whenever God is removed from the life, um, the door is now open for anything and everything else to come in. And oftentimes the things that are in our lives have no business being there. And part of the reasons why they exist is because God is absent. God has gotten evicted. God has gotten kicked out or put outside of the door of the house. So when God comes back into the life, then things begin to make sense, right? And that which is wrong, evil, and sinful have to go because Jesus is in the house. So the concept is when you're talking about evil in itself, you can simply say wherever the presence of God has been removed or when God is separated from men, Isaiah 59 speaks about how our iniquity separates from God. So when we sin, we, we, there's, there's a, there is a gap, there is a bridge, there is a, there is a, a separation that take place between us and God. So what Christ came to do is to atone, is to, uh, is to bring us back together. In relationship with God with the Father because there was a division that took place whenever uh, when sin came into the world especially in our hearts 
And I think this artist is now painting a really amazing picture of what happens here when uh, sin comes into the life of an individual. I am right, wrong is whatever you're left with I am life, you without me is what death is I am the judge, you answer me If I throw lightning, who throws it back at me? Nobody. And if all this falls, who can stand but me? You go to the cross, for you cross-examine me Wow So there is a level of boldness being established About the character or the attributes of God here in the song That is God is not to be questioned, right? This doesn't necessarily mean we can't ask God question, but you don't question the authority of God or the character of God as if I am holier or I know better than he does. So this is kind of where the artist is helping us to realize here. This is a call to humility, by the way. This is a call to really examine our hearts. This is a call for us to sit there and take a good look at ourselves before we start pointing the finger at God who is holy, righteous, and just, and love. We have to really take a look within before we start questioning the one who is above all. You say I made mistakes, you mistaken me You made gods out of men who were clay to me You put lives over lives that you ain't create Then fill away cause all flesh the same to me What if- Oh man, this is so deep I can preach all day This is so deep Again, we have such a false conception of God And whenever God is not in the life The only thing that is left is these what the bible refers to as idolatry idols we start to make idols of god in the form of images theories thoughts concepts and we worship the works of our hands instead of worshiping the one who has created all things and he's saying you have mistaken me <laughs> I am bigger than some object. I am bigger than a denomination. My God is bigger than all of that. And he's painting this awesome picture again about the majesty of God. And also, he's also painting a picture of how, um, of how total helplessness and our total nothingness as human beings. So he's exalting God here and he's demoting men because that's exactly what needs to take place before a sinner see his needs far for God. Powerful. Some of the people you naming to me wasn't really everything that you made them to be. Or worse, what if they are and I take them with me? Are you telling me it's any better place they could be? Huh? Either way, you don't know. You just gotta push through. Push Cause through. why you over here saying what I should do? Somebody lost somebody last week and came at me the same way saying I should have took you. Uh, you ask wow. why the good die young, but the truth is none of y'all are good. Not one. Not the one. only one. Ooh, that's a good point. All right. I've also heard people said, why does, why do bad things happen to good people? Well, there are no good people. <laughs> why do bad things happen to all people? Should be the question or to all bad people. And the truth is, I know in a sense, we may sometimes think we are good or we are deserving nothing but goodness in our lives. What in reality is, that is not the case. Uh, and again, a good question is, why did bad things happen to a good man? You know what that good man is? His name was Christ. What did he do that was so evil, but yet he suffered so much evil? Um, so when we do suffer in this world of sin, keep in mind, none of us are good. All right. None of us are good. The scripture says in Romans 3 verse 10, there is none righteous. No, not one. So we are disqualified. In the sight of God but there is hope though and I'm hoping I get to hear the concept of hope coming from the artist here Bizzle please take it to the throne Whatever been good, my son. So to answer your question, a good died once. Jesus. What if I told you to choose when yeah, your mom died? mom died? You think you could choose when your mom died? Huh? If you put it off 20 years away, 20 years later, when that day came, would you not cry? Huh? Wow. So there are some things that God hasn't revealed to us because we are not ready to handle some of that stuff. So he has to keep it private. Wow. If you put it off 20 years away, 20 years later, when that day came, would you not cry? Uh, you 
couldn't be God, you were not I My ways are not yours, your thoughts are not mine You can't even deal with the pressure of your own life when you're not high Try looking in the God mind Wow, oh this is so deep <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this is fire This is deep, this is deep And again, very amazingly put together here This artist is very clear, Bizzle is on point He is hating the points, man Ah, response to Journey Lucas. Okay, I need to understand where the reason. Okay, I need to do some digging on that. Who is Journey Lucas here? Let's keep going. Can't even deal with the pressure of your own life when you're not high. Try looking in the God mind. Real See, I love them more than you ever did, more than you ever could. Death doesn't lessen it. Let my own son meet death as the evidence. Said I love them all, rap star to the president. Yeah. That's so deep though. Oftentimes when we lose a loved one, we sometimes blame God as if God is the reason why they pass away. The truth is we are going to die. And the sad reality is some will die sooner than others, but we can't blame God for that. All right. The truth is sin is in the world. Plus people make bad decisions. And plus, there, there is a time for some people to lay to to be laid to rest. Um, but the love of God doesn't change because a person has passed away. Amazingly well said. The real question is, what you living like? Living like. If I punish every sin, would you live tonight? So how you get mad when I get a mother folks same chances I give you to get it right? Huh? You got a son that one day will be a man. You expect him to trust you and he don't understand or even know what you up to. Because uh. he knows that you love him, right? So trust that I love you. Yeah. Wow. This was amazing. Simply put it, absolutely amazing. Very scriptural base. This level of interrogation, questioning, um, helping ones to see his need for God, helping one to see the mind of God, the heart of God, the majesty of God. All that is explained in the song. Very simple, straight to the point, straight conversation, a nice storytelling. Brings about strict conviction to the heart helps one to realize man we need the lord and we need to humble ourselves the one passage in scripture that i could think of as i was listening to this song is the one that is found in the book of um i believe is peter first peter chapter 5 verse 5 1 5 5 listen to this likewise ye younger submit yourselves unto the elders ye of all of you right <clears throat> Be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For God resisted the proud and giveth grace to the humble. What an amazing promise we have from the word of God, right? God says, if you're going to be proud of heart, you refuse to subject yourself to me. You're not going to get the grace of God. But he says those who humble themselves, who clothe themselves with humility, they're going to receive the grace of God. So there's two ways I can go about my life. And I love the way this artist, Bizzle, Devil's Work, put it together here. There's two ways I can go about my life. I can become a proud man who think I know better than God and trust in my own wisdom and do things my own way and question the authority of God, deny his love, deny his creative power, behave as if I know everything. That's one way to go. But that way is the road of destruction. Or I can check, I can take a position of humility, true self-examination true self-abnegation where i can look within and realize lord i need you i'm such a sinful man have mercy on me so it's two position you can go pride or humility which one you want bezo here has given us a picture of god he has also painted a very horrible picture of men and this is the truth guys 
This is the truth of the Bible. In lyrics, with music, laced with facts, and storytelling, scriptural base, very spiritual. Well done, Bizzo. I got the message. I love it. Powerful message. I'm ready for more. Thank you so much for listening, guys. I hope this was a blessing to you. If you've enjoyed today's video, like and subscribe to the YouTube page. Click that bell icon to be notified for upcoming videos as well. Comment below. Let's stay in touch. And also hit me on uh, Discord or send me an email or text message to the number posted below. So God bless you. Have a good one. And as always, look unto Jesus and live by faith. Have a good one. Bye.